I want to talk about an artist whose work has been an inspiration to me. Uh, her name is Katie J. Dobson and she's out of Lincolnshire, England. And uh, she paints in this style of, she paints these really loose, colorful backgrounds and she states that she's influenced by Odilon Redon who was a French symbolist painter uh, around the turn of the century. And um, he, he painted these, he was a very unique artist. He painted these sort of sometimes whimsical, sometimes uh, nightmarish, um, but usually just uh, symbolic uh, paintings, um, which were loose. Um, they were very far from sort of the academic canon. He didn't seem to have any regard for um, standard academic practice in terms of uh, verisimilitude and representation. Um, so she states that, um, she says, that, I'm going to quote her, she says, Inspired by the ethereal qualities of Odilon Redon and further by his use of vivid color, Katie descended into opulent oil paintings of wildlife scenes and subjects of nature, animals, and figures depicting intricate detailing with spontaneous and kinetic overtones. Further admiration for elegance and richness of palette brought Katie to combine these loves to create oil paintings with a plethora of color and a blend of drama, harmony, presence, and dissolve. And what I like about her paintings is that she doesn't seem to shy away from um, um, representational imagery of animals, of people, um, where, you know, especially at art school, especially in the UK, but also obviously in the United States, uh, art school teachers and other students will just constantly basically harp on you to produce abstract art to not paint as well. They, they really are very much anti-painting, uh, especially anti-oil painting in, in British art schools. And I'm sure that people will disagree with me, but I've been through it, okay? I know exactly what I'm talking about, believe me. Um, she pushes that. She, she really paints, uh, you know, uh, recognizable Im imagery, but she paints it on top of a background that is very cloud-like, very, um, she says opulent, and I, I would say opalescent, you know. Uh, it's, most of her paintings are really just have the most beautiful, uh, but loose, uh, very paint, they're still very painterly, it's all very painterly, but it's convincing, it's, it's, it, it, it pleases the eye, uh, and it's also beautiful. She, many of her paintings the backgrounds look very beautiful. So that's why I'm mentioning her today. Um, she uh, inspired me to paint Dive, uh, which is a picture of a koi on a um, loose um, sort of uh, expressionist background uh, showing different all kinds of different colors. So um, I think that uh, there's really something to Katie J. Dobson's paintings. I think that they are, they really strike a chord and beyond that, beyond anything rational, they are beautiful. Many of her paintings really just are just nice objects that uh, really, they're better than nice. They're, they are actually beautiful. And I, I think I can see why many people would like to have one of them. So, you know, I'm actually hoping to find other artists uh, out there that paint um, beautiful paintings as well. So if you know of any, please suggest them to me by emailing jw at jessewall.com or uh, leave, you can leave comments in, in YouTube and stuff like that, but it's better to probably just email me with suggestions and topics and stuff like that. So, thank you very much.